What up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Ninja Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. In the latest, in the WB, Zaslaw, and the WB execs have decided to cancel Fandom this year. Why? Well, look at San Diego Comic Con. They had nothing else. What is there to show you? We don't even know what we want to show you. We have things that are cooking. I'm very, Brian, I'm very interested in this Blue Beetle movie. I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah. It also, I, I, it can't, it, I think that so too, but that would be the, like, they haven't said it's to the survive either. But that would be crazy because they have a star. They have a franchise right here. All you got to do is deliver it. Because that dude is a star. He can be a star. Um, Is Black Adam before or after uh, the movie? At the uh, fandom. Is, is it before or after oh, fandom? It, it would have been before when fandom has been. Fandom was typically been like, you no, know, it's been late in the year. Ah, okay. Black Adam was the first first weekend of October. So had they kept fandom, it would have come after. I mean, look, in okay. theory, see, that's the thing, like, we, we, we'll get into it. It's kind of like, you, you got to come up with like a jingle or a, an image for like, as the DC world turns, because I feel like <laughs> this is like every day, the, the mess grows. I know, right? Inside wow. the okay. time where we're at, you know, but, you know, in theory, they should have had a lot to show, like, especially with delay some of the projects they did. They should have had Aquaman 2 stuff to show. They should have had more Flashpoint stuff to show. Um, they should have had Blue Beetle trailer to show. Um, they should have had Cape Crusader stuff to show. We know what happened with that. So, and, and that would have been a great forum, you know, maybe to, you could have unveiled your new, you know, whether it's Dan Lin or Emma Watts, you could have kind of used that as an intro and have them kind of give a state of the union address and their first, like, you know, here's what we're looking at. Here's what's a priority. Maybe you have an opportunity to make a Superman announcement there. Like they ought to have a lot to talk about. So the fact that they're like scrubbing this entirely basically just shows you how much uncertainty and disarray they're in that they just can't commit to anything that brian and and the the past couple of experiences of fandom have been horrendous let's just call it what it is yeah last fandom was a very underwhelming event nobody looked like they wanted to be there i think another thing on the checklist for sas loving in, in company would be it, that fandom now that Things are, you know, we just had San Diego Comic Con. People were there. This is an opportunity to um, produce a better event, one to rival D twenty three. You know what I'm saying? So they have to rethink that. This virtual thing is not going to work. No. Um, so if you're going to do something similar to D twenty three, where it's going to be a big event, you get a big stage out to right a la Apple, a la D23. But those are expensive. Yeah. And like one of the reasons we heard Aquaman and Flash got pushed was not just be or not Flash, sorry, Shazam and Aquaman 2 got pushed was that they had no marketing budget for 2022 because it was all going to Black Adam. And these guys are don't have a lot of cash as we talked about. So like, you know, putting on a giant event Costs a lot of money. Yeah. And they don't seem to have a lot of that right now. They're cutting projects to they, save exactly. cash burn. Exactly. So, like, that's definitely part of this as well. Yes. It like, is. it's like, we don't want to show stuff we don't want to commit to, and we don't want to spend the dollars because we don't think we're going to get the return on that right now. So, it's just, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. But while they're doing that, 
we just we just missed opportunities missed opportunities yeah like the other thing, like, like when I buy their standards, the MCU is in a slump. The MCU is getting yeah. some blowback. They ain't gonna be in a slump for ten years. <laughs> like, better take advantage of that at some point. But how do you take advantage, Brian, when you got Black Panther coming out, and then after that, you got Quantum Mania? Yeah. As I said, that, that's that's a back to back thing right there, my friend. Might not be in a slump much longer. Yep. Nah, all the talk is going to be MCU and everybody's going to look at that WB like, what you going to do? You know, what you, everybody's going to, once those things are over, everybody's going to be waiting for what you're going to announce next. Well, just wait for the memes and the jokes if it winds up being, you know, Black Panther a billion five and Black Adam 500 million. <laughs> That's going to be a field day for people. Oh my God. I can't wait. Yeah. The amount, the amount of hierarchy of power jokes at The Rock's expense if Black Panther's box office triples his movies is going to be off the chart. I'll take the over on whatever number you want to give. <laughs> I can't wait, man. Let's see. I mean, not that we pray for the downfall of the Black Adam movie. I, I want it to be good. We want it to be good. But we already know what it is based on what we've seen thus far which is nothing i just i just still can't get past the delay from july to october especially now that we've lived through august and you look at labor day and you look at it's so painfully clear there's nothing at the movies to go see yeah. if rock adam had been decent and ready to go they would have released it now instead right? of super pets it would have had a good run. Run, yeah, yeah. Uncontested. I think it's going to cost them when they come out in October. And like, yeah, there's going to be, people will be ready for a big movie. And that'll be the first big movie in a while. And like I said, with, with Wakanda Forever looming right behind it. It's just, it just doesn't make sense, there. right? Yeah. It's a, that's, that's a wow. But, uh, Brian. We're not executives at Warner Brothers. We're not there making decisions. But if you were one, would I mean we? Just, I just thought of that right now. I don't know how long you've been thinking about that. What you just said, but if you would have been in the room, would you have? I mean, having seen Black Adam already, if the movie was good, you would probably ask in that room, "What is the delay?" Yeah, I, I if the, the only thing I can think of is it wasn't done. I mean, if it, if the VFX weren't going to be delivered on time, then which is what they officially said. So if they weren't lying about that, then it is what it is. I mean, you're not going to yeah, go and yeah, finish yeah. move. But yeah, yeah. the rumor is it was done. The rumor is like it got done like right around Comic Con, which would have been that would have been close. I think I forget. I think they call it a wet release. Is like when they when the movie is literally finished like as it's going to the theater so it would have been tight but i'm just saying you know hindsight's 2020 but i'm just looking at like there's been nothing i mean the box office has been putting up historic low numbers because there's been nothing to go see yeah. and i just feel like they would have had it all to themselves and like the the, the attention would have been theirs i mean honestly their competition would have been house of the dragon and rings of power right tv shows that, that that in terms of like the, the zeitgeist but now it kind of feels like those shows will still be on at the time this goes to the theater but yeah you're gonna be like in this what kind of forever hype train i don't know like I, I... even if the movie's bad brian would you put this movie if you're trying to make money would you put this movie two weeks after black panther not that close. I wouldn't put anything that close to Wakanda Forever. I think that's a real risk. I just think that movie's the biggest, one of the biggest layups on the calendar. Is like, that someone trying to make a statement? You know where I'm getting. Is that someone trying to make a statement of, of what he intends to do? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a little bit of that. Like, it's like we can just get in front of it by a couple of weeks, and then we can kind of upstage them, and maybe they're vulnerable because nobody really knew exactly what was going on with this film, right? They really held the footage back. They held the rumor mill tight. But, I mean, then that trailer, come, that teaser comes out, and you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> like, 
you know, you, your movie better be really good because that teaser looks awesome. Yeah. And it's got everyone hyped and like, I don't know, I just think they're going to, they're going to regret their calendar management when all said and done here. In another low blow, Yahya Abdul Mateen said he's doing clown work. <laughs> this is one of the best quotes ever, by the way. About I was reading, I'm like, yo, I was is he joking? Well, how was this said? He says it's clown work. Aquaman 2, clown work. Aqu there's your there's your subtitle. Aquaman <laughs> 2, hold it, clown work. Man. <laughs> he said it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap he said his clowns work let's read the whole quote okay yeah because there's no taking this out of context yeah. no quote everything should be about getting to the truth but sometimes you've got to know which movie or genre you're in something like aquaman that's clown work <laughs> that is not the trial of the Chicago Seven. You just have to get over yourself. You can't walk that back. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee he got phone calls from Momoa, James Wan, studio. You can't walk that back. And when they go, when they eventually go to promote this movie, he's gonna get asked about that everywhere. Not to mention, a lot of the actors in this genre are not gonna like this. Like you're going to get people who have done these roles kind of being like, that's disrespectful to the people who have tried to bring these characters to life. Like I read that quote and I was like, this dude does not want to keep going with this. I mean, listen, I wasn't, I wasn't too mad at what he said. Why? Because he believes what we believe. That this movie is going to suck. That this movie is garbage. And he and has a bigger part in it. Yeah. He has a bigger part in it. So that may be a warning. And it's he, funnier. Like, like, I'm washing my hands. Wasn't me. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing. He's he's saying, yo, I didn't give you, I didn't give you my best. I'm just going to, I just went to work, y'all. I just went to work, got a paycheck. You know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And, uh, wow. I mean, when you think the WB is on a, you know, we, 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 I, I thought we were like right here. Wish we, we probably went here and now we're going back down for another leg down. Cause it's, it's going to be a while, Brian, for they're not, we can't expect for this 10 year plan to be announced in the next six months. No, I think my guess had originally was fandom 2023, which obviously won't happen, but that would have been my guess was like end of 2023 would be the strategic unveil, but. But they canceled it for this year and next year? Well, they canceled it for this year, but if you read the description where they're basically like, we no longer need this event because we can go to other ones, it sounds like fandom is just done. Like, if it Got comes it. back, it'll be something else. Is yeah, Okay. Gotcha. Right. But this Yaya quote, getting back to this for a second, I think he said what Jennifer Lawrence was thinking by the time she got to the end. Is that fair? Like, because he got this part in Aquaman. He wasn't as acclaimed as he is now. Mm -hmm. And now he's he's done all these genres, right? He's won an Emmy, did your trial of Chicago 7. He he's he's blown up. Yeah, yeah. And so he kind of like doesn't need this bag anymore as much. And so he's basically telling you ahead of time, I mailed it in, which is <laughs> basically what Jennifer Lawrence did, right? She gets first class. She's mm -hmm. on the up and up. Then all of a sudden she gets Hunger Games. 
Then all of a sudden she's winning an Oscar. And by the time we get to, you know, Dark Phoenix, she's like yawning her way through the movie until she checks out. It's kind of the same thing, right? He's kind of basically saying, I'm too good for this now. I don't need it. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. let me just, let me take my Manta helmet and like incinerate my bridge to the WP and get out of it. Yeah, he's done. After I this. think so. Wouldn't surprise me even if, I don't know what the script is because he was going to be the feature villain in this. Given that they've delayed this movie, if this quote really rankles, I would not be shocked if they like rework this movie so he dies. And he's cool with it. I would be too. Just kill me off and just be done with it, Brian. Yeah. You already said what you needed to say. And it's, it's, we kill you. You killed us right now. Yeah. We're going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Is that cool? And here's some extra money. You know what I'm saying? And it's over. That seems like the best move. Um, The Get Down is the name of the show on oh, Netflix. Good. Okay, I never right. saw that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was all right. It was all right. It was pretty cool. Um, Yeah. Let us know in the comment section below uh, if you haven't heard about that, because I really haven't heard anybody talking about this. Not yet. It's coming, but not yet. <laughs> the problem is like with DC, it's like the 10th headline. And, you know, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I know. Right? You got to go down the list. Which, yeah. which one is more important? By the way, we... We got to do a little addendum here on the Cape Crusader. Ah. We were getting, getting some some firming up rumors of who's at the table for this. Okay. Um, so it sounds like the final three are Apple, Netflix, and the one that I like did a double take was Hulu. Ooh. Imagine if Hulu picks up a TV MA Cape Crusader and the Disney umbrella is showing you a Batman show. Oh my God. You know, I had a conversation with Alex years ago. I'll say like three or four years ago. He says, I wouldn't be surprised if Disney bought WB or the DC IP or had, or had it. Batman and Disney? Saslav is That's crazy. Loss. That's an L. Like you're renewing Harley Quinn for season four and you're going to let Disney take a Batman show from you? That's crazy. It's like if I'm in the room and listening to this, and like if I'm in the room and I'm not allowed to talk, I would have to be like, hey, yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. What are you talking about right now? Because this is ridiculous. What y'all talking about right now is ridiculous. Y'all gonna keep Harley Quinn and y'all gonna get rid of the K Crusader TVMA? Are you out of your mind? You guys are out of your mind. That, my friend, if that would have been on HBO Max, that would have pulled in subscribers. If that, if that show is gonna be what we think it's going to be. And this is the animation show. This is not no movie. People are prepared to pay perhaps crazy amounts of money for this IP. I think so. I mean, like I said, I'm not, I, there's no edge right now on who's going to actually win this, but just the fact that there is a Disney subsidiary like at the table that could potentially own a Batman piece of Batman IP this time next year is insane. Why you would allow that? Do you, th I think Apple has the most money that I think they'll probably do it. I think if Apple wants it, they'll win it. Cause like they have the deepest pockets, right? Amazon's probably the only one who could go truly head to head with Apple. And it doesn't sound like they're actually gunning for this, but like yeah. take it the other way. Let's say there was some wayward Star Wars show that like somehow Disney was like we'll shop this. They would never allow the WB to like it, it just would not have like a more a, a, like yeah like She Hulk. As much as we make fun of She Hulk, this is not gonna let like HBO show She Hulk. Yeah, like yeah. it would never happen. You can't allow that. You cannot allow that. But if they do it, we're gonna win. I 
it's popular thing, right? If we're going to win, oh, oh, yeah, whoever yeah, yeah. owns this show is going to spend on it. Yeah. Let me ask you this, Brian. You think Saslov is, has had the conversation, how much is this IP worth? I mean, he's the one who publicly said that Superman and Batman are two of the three biggest IPs in the world. I mean, he's the one who publicly said that. I mean, the only thing, like, I, I texted you this, the only thing that, like, is, like, lurking under the surface here is, like, does he just hate J.J. Abrams something solid because Abrams is involved with this show? Yeah. And is he just trying to wipe out that whole production deal? And, like, anything this guy was involved in, he's like, nope, like, get know. it out of here. I don't know, that's the only, because, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when I saw the Harley Quinn renewal, I was like, I get it. That show has been critically acclaimed and people generally like it, but I'm like, what are we Quinn, Batman? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing here, man? Like, like if we were doing the show, if we were doing the show, Brian, of which show is going to get canceled and the Harley Quinn was on that uh, possibility, I would say that's, that show is getting canceled. Yeah. I mean, they and just said the they don't want to do animated stuff and then they renew that show. I don't know what's going on here. The saga continues. If Hulu got this joint, yo, Disney, Disney's gonna try to go for it. They're gonna try to go for it. I think Apple's gonna win, but the yeah. amounts of money that this is gonna cost, I think Hulu's gonna be there to see if they can get it. Because if they can get it, this would, Brian, be historic. Are you kidding me? This would be historic, Brian. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Something I thought would perhaps never happen and we're getting uh we're getting this close of it happening. Let's see what happens in the next few months, Brian. You think this is close to being uh done in terms of yeah, I think, I, think, I think whoever yeah I think